Imagine the scene. An enormous 2,000-ton diesel construction truck, one of the biggest land-moving beasts ever built, completely frozen solid at minus 80 degrees Celsius, parked like a giant ice block under the harshest conditions on Earth. And in today's video we're diving deep into what happened, why it's trending, and what we can learn from this unbelievable frozen truck event that's shocking heavy equipment fans around the world. This isn't just an ordinary cold snap story. This is a mechanical marvel frozen in time, a machine designed for colossal strength brought to a near standstill by one of nature's most extreme temperatures. We start with the basics. This truck isn't your everyday dump truck. It's a 2,000-ton class diesel hauler, the kind you'd find in mega-scale mining operations or massive construction projects moving earth, rock, and materials on a scale most of us only see in documentaries. These machines are built for heat, dust, torque, and endless horsepower, but they are absolutely not built for minus 80 degrees Celsius. So what happened? A freak polar vortex blew in over a high-latitude research site where this mega truck was being tested before deployment. Temperatures plummeted far below what even Arctic-ready machines were rated for. And within hours, the unthinkable happened. The huge diesel engine, fuel lines, hydraulics, and even the monster tires locked up in place, turning this mechanical titan into a gigantic steel and rubber ice sculpture. In the viral clip sweeping YouTube, you can see the truck's engine block encased in frost, the massive dump bed frozen mid-tilt like a slowed-down sculpture, and the crew in thermal gear cautiously approaching the immobile giant, every breath visible in the air, every movement a reminder that at minus 80 degrees Celsius, metal behaves very differently, components contract, lubricants thicken to the consistency of molasses, and diesel fuel itself can gel so hard it becomes solid. The visuals alone are jaw-dropping, and no wonder the video is exploding online. The first part of today's breakdown shows the before and after shots, morning sunlight glinting off black steel, then hours later the same truck trapped under layers of hoarfrost and crystalline buildup. Creators are slowing down the footage frame by frame to show how the elements can overpower even the most rugged machines, and the contrast is stunning, a story of engineering versus ice, and in this case, ice seems to have the upper hand. But how does a truck this massive even get frozen solid? Normally, heavy-duty diesel engines are rated for cold starts down to maybe minus 40 degrees Celsius with proper preparation. Block heaters, fuel additives, and winter-grade lubricants help. But minus 80 degrees Celsius is an entirely different environment, one typically only experienced in Antarctica or specialized industrial freezers. At that temperature, steel contracts significantly, rubber loses elasticity, and every reservoir of liquid, coolant, hydraulic fluid, fuel, can turn into something more akin to gel or glass. In some of the most shared clips, you can hear the commentators pointing out the creaks and cracks as the metal settles under extreme cold, unfiltered, raw audio that makes you feel like you're right there. Next, the video goes deeper into the science behind it, focusing on thermal contraction. Metals like steel shrink as temperatures drop, and when parts that normally have clearance suddenly tighten up, mechanisms can seize. Hydraulic pistons that normally slide smoothly can freeze in place, and massive torque converters simply can't spin when everything is locked together by ice. This is not just cold, it's a mechanical shutdown on a scale we rarely witness. The trending comment sections are filled with people trying to calculate how much contraction is happening between the engine. Block and drive train, and the curiosity is real. We also explore the human side of the story, the crew tasked with rescuing this frozen giant. Decked out in thermal suits rated for the extreme cold, they're shown nearby, testing equipment, checking fluid lines, and cautiously assessing structural integrity, because at minus 80 degrees Celsius, even walking on metal surfaces can be treacherous. One on-site engineer explains in a clip that traditional de-icing methods won't work, you can't just pour hot water on a truck this size without risking thermal shock that could crack frames or warp precision machined parts. So they're forced to think like scientists. Gradual warming, specialized insulated enclosures, and custom-built heaters that can bring temperatures up without shocking the machine. This leads into the next big topic. What happens next? Fans are glued to updates as teams work to bring the truck back to life. The strategy. Build a temporary shelter around it. Install industrial-grade heating blankets and radiant heaters, monitor temperature gradients across the truck to avoid uneven expansion, and prepare for what could be days or even weeks of careful defrosting before they even attempt to start. 
You can see engineers using thermal cameras to monitor hotspots, and that level of detail is exactly why this frozen truck story is trending, it's engineering theater at its most dramatic. And then there's the speculation. Viewers and experts alike are weighing in, was this a preventable scenario? Could advanced fuel heaters and new insulating technologies have saved the machine? Some heavy equipment influencers even suggest that this event will push manufacturers to rethink cold weather design standards for mega machines. After all, if a truck this size can freeze up at a research site, what might happen in real-world Arctic operations? The comments are a mix of disbelief and admiration. Many viewers are amazed that a machine this massive, something that feels almost alien in its size, can be rendered motionless by cold. Others are fascinated by the complexity of thawing it safely. And almost everyone is captivated by the sheer spectacle of seeing a diesel construction truck, a symbol of unstoppable power, frozen in place like a gigantic mechanical tomb.